Well, good morning, Cathedral family. I um, hope you haven't found this week too chilly. Uh, today our reading is from Acts chapter 11, verses 1 to 18. We'll be reading Psalms 124, 125, and 126. Um, and it's just a joy that you are with us today. So thank you so very, very much. Thank you to Robert, who's um, putting this to air live to us. So thank you so much, Robert. We really do appreciate your help and support. And I come to you from a wonderful land this morning. For Christ, let us offer, offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, at the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience, and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 124 If the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side, whom, when our enemies rose against us, then they would have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us and the torrent gone over us. The raging waters would have gone clean over us. But praise be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have gone free. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Psalm 125. Those who put their trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. As a mountain stand about Jerusalem, so stands the Lord about his people, from this time forward forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall have no sway over the land of portions to the righteous, Let's the right to set their hands to do evil. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, to those that are upright in heart. As for those who turn aside to crooked ways, let the Lord lead them away with the evildoers. And in Israel, let there be peace. And finally, Psalm 126. When I turned, when the Lord turned again the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who restored to life. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they, they among the heathen, The Lord has done great things for them. Truly, the Lord has done great things for us, and therefore we rejoiced. Turn again our fortunes, O Lord, as the streams return to the dry south. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. So they go out weeping, bearing the seed, to come in in gladness, bringing sheaves with them. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Acts 11 verses 1 to 18. Now the apostles and the believers who were in Judah heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him saying, Why did he go to uncircumcised men and eat with them? Peter began to explain to them step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large seat coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. As I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles and birds of the air. 
I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. And I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean, you must not pro you must not call profane. This happened three times. Then everything was put up again to heaven. At that very moment, three men sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where I was. The Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and us. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house, saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remember the word of the Lord, how he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was, who was I that I could not hinder God? Who was I that I could hinder God? When they heard this, they were silenced, and they praised God, saying, and God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. May the word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains, forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, we beseech you to keep your family, the church, in continual godliness, that through your protection it may be free from all adversaries, and devoutly given to serve you in good works, to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And God, we pray for our bishops, particularly Peter, as he prepares for synod tomorrow. We pray for the diocesan office staff and all those who are busily preparing for all that is to take place tomorrow. We pray your blessing on them, give them wisdom and strength and perseverance. We pray for all who will attend Synod, we pray for good discussion and wise decisions, we pray for a spirit of unity, we pray for a desire to be one and to put aside self-interest for the sake of your unity and your body. So we just ask for God that you be with everyone uh, tomorrow. Watch over them and bless, keep them well, give them insights, and give them ears to listen and hearts to love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we pray for ourselves, our family, our friends, those who have asked for our prayers. We pray for those in our parish community who are unwell. We pray for those who are suffering from the cold. We pray for the homeless in particular. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Lord God, we pray for ourselves. 
We pray that at the end of our days, we too may come to see you face to face in paradise. Stay with all the saints and angels to worship you forever and ever. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created, by whose nature we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. So the Lord be with you, and let us praise the Lord and give thanks to God. Peace be to us all, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you, family, and look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Take care now.